King Collector here and today we have this 5000 watt generator that we are going to get going. I have no idea what manufacturer it is. There's no decals at all saying what manufacturer made this. I do have a model number though and I do have the output. It is 5000 watts which sounds about right because this has a 9 horse Briggs & Stratton Vanguard on it. As you can see right there, really good engines. I like them. And uh, this one being 5,000 watts, I have this Tecumseh 10 horse, which is 5,250. So it kind of makes sense. I can tell uh, that this thing has been used quite a bit. What for? I don't know. We'll get it going, get a quick profit out of it. And uh, yeah, I'll shut up and we'll get right to it then. You always take a bit of a risk with uh, generators because there's always a chance that the generator itself, this guy, doesn't even work. But I paid $16 for this thing, so I'm not too worried about it not working. There you go, that thing's back on. No idea why it was off, but unfortunately we're not so lucky in terms of hardware on this side. All the bolts are missing, so I'll need to dig through my odds and ends and see if I can find one. All right, got this guy back on. I had some odds and ends lying around, and uh, it ended up working out. So, I also just did a lookup, and it turns out this is a Campbell Hossfeld. I think that's how you say it. Um, Campbell Hossfeld 5000 watt generator. That's pretty much all I can gather on it. And uh, I looked up some pictures of it, and it looks exactly the same. So that's what it is. Uh, but now that I got that back on, I think we're going to actually uh, spray some gas in it and see if it kind of fires off. All right, if there's some a little bit of gas in it, so uh, let's see if it does anything. Operated. Dang it. Come on. Oh yeah, go run. Alright, I got a lamp plugged into it. I'm gonna see if it does anything. I don't have starting fluid, so this is what I have to do. It's a bit much, but it'll work. So, uh, it's not generating anything at all. I know the light's on. I test it in the house outlet, and it works. But uh, every time I fire this thing up, it doesn't do anything. So, uh, yeah, we have an issue somewhere. So, it was 11.30 at night when I was making this clip right here. And I wasn't making too much sense. Basically, I was just making wild guesses on what could have been wrong with it and what type of alternator it was. And, uh, well, the type of alternator was wrong, so I'm just going to do this voice over here. This is a car alternator. It works pretty much the exact same way, except there is a rectifier in this one that converts it to DC because your car runs on DC energy, but your house runs on AC energy. So this is an alternator it produces alternating current, which is AC energy. The uh, general anatomy of it is the same. So uh, basically what I thought was wrong with it was the slip rings here, these two copper rings in the back of the alternator. They were either uh, worn out or completely missing, or it could have been the brushes that run along the slip rings, which is tucked way far back in there. You can't really see it all that good, but uh, I was thinking those might have uh, been missing or just not working for some reason so I ended up uh, being right about the brushes the slip rings were still there but the brushes were uh, they were melted and completely destroyed as you'll see here there's your brushes right there this guy is springing this guy is not and he's stuck inside of the, the seat so that is the issue and if you look right here on the commutator 
See how there's fresh copper right there? And none right there? That is corroded. Well, I don't think it, you can call that corroded, but uh, it's not contacting. That brush is not contacting, which is the problem. Okay, so it's a few days later. The part arrived. And that is for a Briggs & Stratton Storm Responder 8000 watt generator. So the uh, brush size is plenty big enough for this thing. And if you look, you see those grooves. I had to drill that out a little bit to get that guide pin in there. So that fits in there good. And took a self-tapping self -tapping screw and drilled it into it and it seems to be holding really really good so I sat there and shook it and it's shaking the whole generator so I don't think it's going anywhere I think that'll work it's on the slip rings so I made sure to get it close to you can't really see it in there but uh, that'll definitely allow for some wear so it should be good to go I think it'll, I think I'll ship it so anyways uh, of course I forgot to charge this stupid thing so I have to wait even longer to actually get this thing going alright I have the lamp in a position you can actually see it now I have cheap starting fluid and uh, I guess it's time to see if any of this was worth it won't lie I'm a bit nervous because if it didn't work, I want to send that part back, but I can't because I modified it. So, well, here goes. Moment of truth. All right, well, uh, safe to say this thing is bricked. I did not expect the damage to be so catastrophic. That's why I jumped on it right away when I found out the brushes were bad. But uh, it turns out the brushes and literally everything else. I don't know what happened to this thing, but uh, as you'll see here. So if I take probe and put it on the slip ring and the casing, you can see there is uh, resistance there which there is not supposed to be so that means the rotor is shorting out somewhere and uh, eventually getting up to the frame which is not what is supposed to happen also that being said just putting it on the slip rings itself the resistance is way higher than it should be and uh, if we go down to the capacitor here it's overloaded, so this thing's completely destroyed. So, uh, yeah. There's a lot more wrong with this thing than I originally thought. And, uh, like I was saying, you can't get parts for this anymore. So, this thing is, uh, pooched. It's done. So, I guess the only good part is the engine. Uh, we can still get it running. So, I guess that's what I'll do. I'll just rip this thing off, and, uh, yeah, we'll just get it, the engine running, and hopefully I can get, like, 50 bucks out of the engine or something. I don't know. Okay, I've ripped the alternator off of it, considering it's bad. So, kind of put some of it back together. Got the airbox mount on there now. Put a little bit of gas in it, and uh, we're going to see... If it actually runs on its own carburetor.
Okay, so as you saw, it did run. I scrapped the rest of it, except the fuel tank. I'm keeping the fuel tank for any projects I might have. That's a big tank on that thing, so. I'm selling the engine itself for 50 bucks. I already have somebody who wants it, so that was really lucky actually. I didn't expect that to happen that quickly, but I'll get all my money back, which is nice. So anyways, that's pretty much going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe.